What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're showcasing a Gen 4 fan favorite that I have not used in rank regulation F yet. We are showcasing Luxray in today's video. Now Luxray is a straight electric type that everybody adores. It's Rock and Intimidate, a top tier ability, so it will always be viable in ranked double battles. It has Assault Vest as item, then a great move set of Super Cell Slam, Bolt Switch to Pivot Out, Ice Fang to deal with those flying types and those landerses. And last but not least, we're rocking out with Snarl. Great move set for his Pokemon, absolutely love it. Alongside this Luxray, we got Glamora, and I used Glamora in a couple videos ago, and it is absolutely fire. With Meteor Beam and Power Herb, this thing can get a free special attack boost, get a free big time stab move, and most likely pick up a KO anytime at once. This one also has Sludge Bomb, Mortal Spin for Poisons, and Spiky Shield. The rest of the team is pretty standard. You got the Shen Pao and Dragonite combo, then on top of that, you got Booster Energy Flutter Main and Wellspring Ogre Pond. So, solid little team here with Luxray. Cannot wait to use it on that ranked double ladder. But, guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, the rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you have not subscribed yet, get on top of it. It takes two seconds of you guys' time and it really helps me grow as a content creator. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Luxray. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and we're going up against a Hisuian Typhlosion team. Super excited to be using Luxray. Cannot remember the last time I actually used it on the rank ladder, so it should be a fun one. They also have Wimscott for a nice little support. They got Amoongus, another support Pokemon. Then they got Walking Wake, um, Great Tusk, and Quivernet. So this screams that they want to pop Sunny Day potentially with Wimscott, right? Because his Sumi Typhlosion is going to thrive in it. Great Tusk gets Protosynthesis. Walking Wake gets Protosynthesis. So I'm going to have to play off of that. It's going to definitely be tough, but um, they're probably going to leave Wimscott here. So my lead should probably be maybe Glamora. I could rip Glamora. Glamora is not bad. I don't really thrive with Protosynthesis because I already have Booster Energy. But I'm gonna go Glamora here, and I'm also going to lead maybe Luxray because Ice Fang, not too shabby, not too shabby. Plus I have Snarl for the special attackers. I like it all around. So I'm gonna go Glamora. Actually not Glamora. We're gonna go Fluttermane, Luxray, Shen Pao Dragonite. Love it. Love it. Maybe I should have led Shen Pao Dragonite, but this is something I like. I like going into Luxray early on here. I can build switch pivot if I need to. I got Ice Fang for the Whimsicott and the Amoongus. And on top of that, I have Snarl. So if I got to deal with any special attackers like Typhlosion, like Walking Wake, I'm able to send Snarl right off the bat. So pretty cool. Pretty solid Luxray build. Love it. Just got to watch out for Supercell Slam, right? It's basically high jump kick, but electric move. So if I hit a protect or miss it, I am going to take some big time damage, but they end up leading these two Pokemon. These two Pokemon are going to come out here. Um, Dom Fan potentially could Terrasilize here. Um, Amoongus could Spore me. A lot of different options, and I'm thinking of doubling down into Amoongus, because most likely Dom Fan's either going to Protect or Terrasilize. Right? So I think maybe if I just go for an Ice Fang here, and maybe I Terrasilize Moonblast, I just try to KO this thing. Or not even Terrasilize, let's just go for a Shadow Ball. Let's go for Shadow Ball because Great Tusk, I think, would Terrasilize or Swap. Most likely, right? I could Terrasilize Luxray. I could Terrasilize Luxray, and I think that's going to be my play. I think we are going to Terrasilize Luxray. The ground moves are just not it. So we're going to double down into Amoongus. See what he's going to do here. I probably shouldn't have Terrasilize because I'm trying to read him protecting. But maybe he's Sash and he just wants to pop an EQ. You never know. So I'm going straight grass. We're hoping he kind of protected here. He's trying to spore me, and then I can just get on some big kind of plays. And we'll see how this one plays out here. Grass typing also protects me from spores as well, and rage powers, but I'm attacking this thing anyway. So he's just staying in here. I should just went for a dash and gleam. The Shadow Ball is going to chunk up some nice damage. And EQ is flying, so good call for me to just go into this terror type. And on top of this, Ice Fang should just finish you off. Beautiful. Beautiful. So Luxray, big time terror for us early on here. Just in case the EQ went to pop. I'm really surprised this guy didn't protect or swap the Great Tusk. So now we're sitting here. Um, I'm thinking of just popping a nice lovely Dazzling Gleam now, right? Dealing some damage into Great Tusk. Could be sashed. And maybe I could double down into it. I do have options. It really depends who they throw out here. Because if it is a special attacker, I'm thinking of just snarling it, right? I know, it's just going to be Wimscott. Wimscott's going to come out here. Um... 
I'm just gonna double down into the Don fan and deal some damage. Because Whimsicott's gonna be able to get off whatever it wants, right? If it wants a Tailwind, it can Tailwind. If it wants a Sunny Day, it can Sunny Day. So, leaving Whimsicott on the field, not that big of a deal for me. If I can get rid of the Don fan, oh, they protect it, Whimsicott. But if I get rid of the Don fan, it's just huge. They end up protecting the Whimsicott. Looking to probably go for most likely another EQ here. And Dazzling Gleam's gonna do a huge chunk of damage, bringing it down to Sash. And Ice Fang should be able to come across after his Don Fan moves and finish this, this Tusk off. And you're going for an Ice Spinner instead. Okay. Okay, and I soaked that. I soaked that. Because a nice, lovely Intimidate. Now Ice Fang finishes you off. Sitting in a beautiful position in match number one. Luxury killing it. Killing it early on here. Let's go. Let's go. Luxury, is that its second KO? Double Ice Fang KO is huge. Now the final Pokemon comes out here. It is Walking Wake. And if I can pull off a few Snarls... That's exactly what I, I want to do. So I'm going to go Snarl. I'm Choice. Oh, no. I'm not even Choice. I can just go for straight Moon Blast. But I'm going to go Dazzling Gleam because uh, cause I feel like it, to be honest. But <laughs> nah. In, in, in all reality, I'd rather go for Dazzling Gleam just so I can knock off Sash on, on the Whimsicott side. Actually, Whimsicott is not Rocket Sash. Okay, so I just want to go for Dazzling Gleam. Moon Blast would obviously be better, maybe into the Walking late Wake slot. But I'd rather just chip up some damage right now. While I have all my Pokemon full health in the back end. But we're going to see a nice little big Terror come out here from the Walking Wake. If I can land one Snarl, pretty much locks up the game, right? Pretty much locks up the game. Two special attackers, minus one on each side. Be beautiful. That's Gleam gets cooking. Nice damage onto the Wimscott. And Hydro Steam going to fly here. Taking out Fluttermane. You actually might survive this. And you do. That's beautiful. This beautiful Moonblast is going to come across and Luxray and Luxray survives. So both my Pokemon surviving on low HP, big time for me. And I'm going to get this special attack job. Cool. And what's got actually Cobra Cloak. It's actually Cobra Cloak. So from here, I'm just going to go for, I guess, a Volt Switch. Actually, Supercell Slam. And just rip another Dazzling Gleam. Hoping they just cancel the match. This one's over, right? It's pretty much over. It's pretty much over. They set up the Tailwind. Who are they choosing to take out? They're going to go for a Snarl. So they're rocking Snarl for the double KO. That's big time. But now I get to bring out the big guns, right? Shen Pal Dragonite. Our opponent's going to be like, oh, man. They're probably thinking in the back of their head. As long as it's not Shen Pal Dragonite, I have a chance. But little do they know, Jeans is always rocking that Shen Pal Dragonite. <laughs> it's just so strong not to bring, right? It's just so good. But I'm glad we got work done with Luxray. So out comes the big dogs. Clean up this match. Um... Probably just choosing our uh, E-Speed, right? E-Speed's definitely a play. Definitely a play. So we're not worried about Wimscott at all. I think we just double down into this thing. Go Sucker Punch. E-Speed now that you have Tailwind up. And we just, we just wrap this one up, no problem. We just wrap it up. I mean, they could protect the Walking Wake and maybe like Moonblast my Pokemon, but still. They really want me to Terra. I still have it. I can Terra E-Speed. But they're just going to protect Wimscott again. This is the second time this match where they protected Wimscott. And we weren't even attacking it. We just weren't even touching it. So E-Speed's actually just finishing this Pokemon off. Without the choice ban. And yeah, good game. Good game to our opponent. Come on, man. Want to know? That's too easy. That's too easy. So E-Speed's got the priority. We're just going to double down again. Just start spamming A. And chance are they quit the match? Yep, want to know. Moving on to match number two, going up against Galarian Weezing. Nice little neutralizing gas. He can cancel out abilities whenever he pleases. They also have Raging Bolt, Ogre Pond, Incineroar, Urshifu, and Amoogus. So, Incineroar, I don't really like, and I believe them to maybe be leading that Pokemon. So, I might just lead Glamora. I like Glamora here. Pretty strong Pokemon, can hit hard with the Meteor Beams. So, that is something I want to do. So, I'm going to go Glamora here. I could also lead it with the Ogre Pond, but again, Intimidate. We don't really like that. We really don't like that. So I'm just going to go into Fluttermane or even Lux right here. But I could always just intimidate them and then Bolt Switch Pivot. That's an option. But again, I'm really leaning towards Fluttermane, Shen Pao, Dragonite. I think that's your best bet. Luxray rocked out in match number one. I just don't really see it repeating here in match number two, especially with the Pokemon on the field. Right? I mean, it will be super effective onto the Boongus, which isn't bad. Um, and it can do some work onto the... What is that Pokemon called? The Raging Bolt with Ice Fang, but other than that, I don't really know. Ogre Pond with Electric Move, if it Thrastalizes, and if that Urshifu's Water, 
I just like our other meta Pokemon a little bit better here in match number two, considering I'm trying to lock up a winning record. So we're one and oh, looking to be two and oh, would be beautiful. And they're gonna go into, for the lead, Urshifu and the Weezing. So no abilities allowed. That's not bad. I mean, I don't get Protosynthesis. You don't get your, your, you're not able to hit through Protect, which is cool. So I can Protect on you if I want to. Um, and on top of that, what, what's Glamour's ability again? Toxic Spree. I don't get that, which I really, I don't like. Now, is that Dark Urshifu? It is. The Dark Urshifu is here. Um, hmm. Do I Terrasalize and just launch a Meteor Beam? I could. I could. I mean, he's going to Terrasalize, right? He's 1,000% going to Terrasalize. You know, I'm just going to launch the Meteor Beam into that slot. And I'm just going to Dazzle Leave. Yes. Don't don't detect. Do not detect. I have, I have an odd feeling you're detecting. But I think you're going to uh, Terrasalize more than detect. That's me terrasalizing my Glimora. Putting a little grass typing on it. A little bit of grass typing, just so we're not weak to the uh the fighting move that potentially could come in here. So hit that terror button. Do not detect. And it detects. Every time I say don't do it, they do it. They do it every single time. Every single time. At least Dazzle Gleam's still chunking up a little bit of damage onto the wheezing. Meteor Beam, I will still get the special attack boost, so this turn did not go to waste, right? So this turn for Glamour really did not go to waste. Love it. So I get the special attack boost. I use my power, I just don't get the damage output. Okay, I'll take it. Better than nothing, right? Better than nothing. He's just gonna go for Dazzling Gleam, which I don't mind. Just a little bit of damage on the board. Just a little bit of damage. So he kind of reads out what we're doing here. And now from here, Sludge Bomb's not a bad play for me. I could spike his shield. You can't hit through it. But actually, I kind of just want to read what he's going to do. Actually, no. We're just going to sit here and double down. We're going to Sludge Bomb. We're going with Dazzling Gleam yet again. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Because there's a there's a huge possibility if I spike his shield here that he's just attacking my Fluttermane. With like a Sucker Punch looking to KO. So if I Sludge Bomb here, plus one. I like that damage. Stab as well. They're not protecting the Weezing this time. I don't mind that one. Do not mind the protection of the Weezing. The Weezing goes for a protect. They do just stay in here. No Terra. All that good stuff. And maybe I should just Mortal Spin. Because this is probably going to sash up, right? Yeah. I probably should just Mortal Spin. Throw some poisons up on the board. Should have done that. And Glamour's outspeeding. That's huge. That's huge. That's huge. So that's going to be my next play. Is just throw a Mortal Spin. Try to get some poisons on the board. Play this one late game. I like this lead. I like the start for us. I like to start, Glamour, just so good. It's just so good. So they throw out their next Pokemon. It is, I can't even see it through my Fluttermane's ears, but it's Incineroar. I love the camera angles in this game that they still haven't fixed. And he's gonna intimidate my special attackers. The so fake out, ready to go. Spike Shield's the simple, obvious play. So I'm gonna pop that. And I'm just gonna keep ripping another Dash and Gleam. Or I could Shadow Ball you. I'm just gonna Dash and Gleam. Let's just keep chunking up damage. Let's just keep chunking up damage. So instead we're not the best Pokemon to go into here. I get knockoff can do some nice damage. Flare Blitz can do some nice damage. But Incineroar is really not that Pokemon that's here to do damage, right? Unless this one's like a weakness policy one. Could be. But instead it's using Fake Out. And it's taking some big time damage with Spike Chew. Love it. <laughs> I love I love doing damage with Spike Chew. So that's something flying for the third time. Not bad damage again. And again, I'm just going to look to throw some poisons here. The next turn, Mortal Spin coming out and about. And I think for Fluttermane, we could just honestly protect it. Because I kind of already know what they're going to do. They're going to probably go for like a knockoff into the Fluttermane, try to KO it. But they might go Flare Blitz into the uh, Lamora. Hmm. Beats me. Beats me. I have a top tier combo in the back end still, but my leads have been winning me these matches today. Luxray killing it with, I think it was Fluttermane, right? Now Glamour with Fluttermane, this lead has just been insane. It's just been insane. So Fluttermane hits the protect button. Mortal Spin coming out here. We say, hey, you get a poison and you get a poison. Cool. And I believe actually, aren't you poison types? You might not get a poison here. Yeah, you don't. That's fine. So I'll put a poison on it in similar. We like that a lot. 
This kind of leads me to think that they're going for the knockoff in the Futterman slot, which I would love. That they'll go for the Futterbuts in the Futterman slot. Even better. Even better. So big time protects from us, and now we get off a nice lovely poison. So from here, I kind of just want to start attacking this uh this wheezing right here. So I'm gonna sludge bomb that, and I'm just gonna dazzle gleam across the board. Wheezing could protect, but I doubt it, right? No. So that's something's gonna fly here. Bring an instant order down really, really low. Getting a crit on the instant order, which is huge. And Barry's gonna pop for the Weezing. So they don't really have Pokemon with that big of attack power here. And Sludge Bomb might be able to finish off this Weezing. Plus one, get it on out my face. So we drop the Weezing here. Poison has a chance of KO, and it's gonna be cut close. We might leave this thing on as a 1 HP bandit. But there's the Flare Blitz coming out here, going to finish off the Flutter main. And I'm cool with that. Totally cool with that. Now I get to bring out Shen Pao, Dragonite. Really get to be thriving here. So let's see if the Poison. Oh, the Recoil is gonna do it. I was gonna say, let's see if the Poison actually finishes this thing off, but they chose to go for Flare Blitz. And that actually gets the job done. So from here, I'm just going to go Dragonite here. And I might swap Glamora just into Ten Pal just for the damage output. And go for like a stab, aerial ace, or whatever, depending on what Pokemon they have right here. So the final Pokemon comes out here. It is going to be Ogre. And they still have Terra, don't they? Yeah, they still have Terra. So my best bet, yes, let's swap Ten Pal. And honestly, let's just go for an Outrage. Let's just, let's just go for an Outrage, man. <laughs> let's just go for an Outrage, and they just canceled the battle. So 2-0, oh, let's go hop to a third. Look to use Luxray one last time. Moving on to match number three. We'd love to go 3-0, oh, but we're sitting 2-0 oh right now, and we're going up against P2, the little glass ducky, alongside with Incineroar, Tinglu, who I've been seeing a lot in the meta as recently. Then on top of that, they got Komo O oh, and Flutterman. And Amoongus, forgot to mention, little mushroom Pokemon. So Luxray, not going to be bad here. I don't mind Intimidate. I do like it, but I believe Ting Lu to potentially beat. And in that case, we can Ice Fang it down. And on top of that, we can Tarasla. So I like Luxray here for the lead. And I'm also going to lead it with Flutterman, just like in match number one. And I think this squad is just going to be really solid for us. So I'm going to go for Shen Pao, Dragonite, same squad as we did in match number one. Same lead, same everything. So 2-0. 2-0 with Luxray. Love it. Guaranteed ourselves a winning record already. Perfect record would be even better, but hey. We're here for the fun. We're here for the fun. So, out's gonna come P2 and Incineroar, which I don't mind. I intimidate him. He intimidates me. I might just end up Volt Switch pivoting here. Do we think there's a chance that they um, trick room? I could see that. It could fake out my luxury. But maybe I might just want to hard swap with the dragon. I could hard swap in Dragonite if I want to. It would be a bad play. It would not be a bad play. Um, Jan Star, they're just gonna fake out. And if I could swap in the Dragonite this turn, that's something I would actually like. So I'm gonna actually do that. I'm gonna hard swap into Dragonite. And I might just try slice Moon Blast. Actually, I'm just gonna regular Moon Blast into the Duck. Actually, yeah, into the Duck. We can just chip up some damage onto the duck. We're gonna swap the Luxray, have Intimidate later, and go in the Dragonite. I believe Fake Out's coming into the slot, so that's why I want to swap in the Dragonite. And I can just take new damage here, right? Well, I'll take damage, but Inner Focus won't work. Really so, that's fine by me. So, Moon Blast fine through here. Are you pop a Trick Room? You are, so Trick Room is now here. Now that we have Trick Room out, um. Hmm. They could be going for a knockoff, and I think best bet would just be swap Fluttermane into Shen Pao. And maybe just start spamming these speeds. I like that. Now, the duck isn't really going to do anything crazy, so I kind of just want to start attacking you and just swap in the Shen Pao. I'm cool with it. I like that play. I like that play, because next turn I can always protect Shen Pao. I can swap it, but now I have Fluttermane in the back end, which is good. So I can try to waste out the Tailwind turns and then have Fluttermane later. I'm all about it. So they end up withdrawing the duck. I'm cool with that. The duck's gonna get withdrawn and they're gonna throw out their trick room user Amoongus. Amoongus, yeah. Amoongus. Rather annoying, but we'll deal with that. We will deal with that. We might have to protect Shen Pao next turn. So, Sword of Ruin comes out here. And I'm hoping they go for a knockoff into the Shen Pao slot. Rather than the Flare Blitz, I mean, I survived both because I have Focus Ash, but I mean, knockoff's just not gonna do that much damage considering this thing is intimidated. When I put that normal gem on my head, 
I'm a normal guy now, and I hit that E-Speed button. So E-Speed should do some big-time damage on him. Oh, that's a big-time damage. Party Shot's gonna come out here, and that's fine. I mean, you're gonna attack drop me, and I might have to hard swap you. But attack drops come out and about. So again, Amoongus sitting here. I think uh, we're gonna see maybe an Amoongus Terra here. There's a possibility. And they're gonna bring back out P2. The P2 comes to back out and about. I, I don't mind that. And I think I just gotta keep E speed, right? I mean, minus one. We're still doing massive amounts of damage with E speed. So I'm gonna E speed that. I'm just gonna hit protect. Because I do believe potentially Spore to come out here into the Shen Pao slot. So they're trying to waste out some Trick Room turns. Dragonite's still gonna be hitting relatively hard with normal Terra E speed next to Shen Pao. It still should do about half damage to this. As long as I'm doing half damage, I think that's plenty of damage, right? And if we could block a Spore, Spore's gonna be annoying. A little bit of Spore action. And out comes the Terra from the Amoongus, probably, right? Unless you're not Sporing. Let's see. Yeah, Amoongus going water. Amoongus going water. But I think I'm going for a nice little Ice Spinner here. Which I'm not. I'm just protecting. And we'll see what Amoongus wants to do, because I feel like he has to spore me here, right? But you might spore my Dragonite. You might just spore my Dragonite now that you're trash Look at that, nice big time half damage. They do have Rocky Helmet, and there's the spore. So Dragonite goes to sleep. And I have an odd feeling our opponent's like, hey, I'm gonna put your Shen Pao to sleep now, too. I already see that coming. And the Duck's gonna recover. I don't really mind the Duck recovering. We're still chucking up some damage. Um, now we could hard swap, but I feel like wasting out our sleep turns could be pretty solid here. But I'm just gonna go for a sake of sword here. Chance already's probably put me to sleep. And let's see. You double down with sleeps. Now you're going for pom pom. Okay, cool. Good for you, man. Good for you. Good for our opponent. Not good not being the double sleep guy, right? Nothing's worse than double sleeping. Nothing's worse than double sleeping. So good for our opponent going for the pom pom. We're able to get off a big time sacred sword here. Um, how many turns are left in Trick Room? One. So to be honest, I don't... Mm, you know what? Yeah, we are just going to go for the Protect. I was going to say, we might not want to Protect, but we are going to Protect. We're going to play it safe. Leave Shen Pao here on the field for another turn. After that, we go for E Speeds, we go for Sacred Swords, and we wasted out this Trick Room really well. Really well. Intimidating turn one with Luxray. And going for now. So another Protect. It's probably easily readable, and they might double down the Dragonite. He's just gonna Rage Powder here, so he's gonna Rage Powder probably recover. And try to set up another Trick Room. And actually, this is perfect for me, because I wake up here, E-Speed's gonna KO you, get them all out of my face. And then this turn, we can now double down the P2, making sure that they're not getting the Trick Room. The Mugus, you go and get on out my face. Drop it. Drop them, and this thing's gonna recover. So now it's back up to full HP. I do believe Sacred Sword and E Speed should finish this off. Finish off the little glass ducky. They're probably gonna throw out somebody who's gonna protect it. No, now you can fake me out. Now you can fake me out. Now you can fake me out. But I'm just gonna go for E Speed here, and I'm just gonna swap into Butterman here. Little Fluttermane swap. So E Speed's still gonna KO here. Might have to swap the Dragonite later, but I feel like once I KO this Incineroar, they're probably just like, okay, you won the match, right? Now I get the Fluttermane swap it here. They go for the fake out. I say, nah, yo, I'm ghost type now. <laughs> and E Speed's cooking. So E Speed finishes off Incineroar. Bang, bang. See you later. And now it's just a 4v1 with this duck. With this glass duck who's probably Papa Trick Room, right? They gotta cancel the match. This has gotta be a sweep for me. Nice little sweep. Nice little sweep with the Luxray team today. Real perfect record. Oh, you have another Pokemon? Wait a minute. Never mind. This match isn't close to being over. We don't get the sweep. We are not getting the sweep. I'm gonna intimidate though. I do. I, bruh. I just. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know how I didn't see that, but. Okay. That's fine. I don't know how I didn't realize you had another Pokemon this whole time. Okay, so this match isn't even close to being over. We can still lose this one. I seriously thought that that like that was the last Pokemon. I missed something. I missed something completely. 
I end up intimidating heavy slime gonna come out here and we're able to soak that beautiful Soak that entire blast flying normal terror into this slime which we're soaking we're soaking moon blast should be able to do some nice damage not terrible and from here Ice Fang probably gonna play. So I'm gonna Ice Fang. He's probably gonna heavy slam the slot again. And I'm just gonna do this. And finally, they just cancel battle. Cool. So three out. We still get the sweep. We still get the perfect record. Bang Bang Luxray Gang. Come on, man. 3 0 perfect record. Cannot complain about that. Luxray showing out in today's video in ranked regulation. Now, F obviously paired up with some solid meta Pokemon, such as Glamora, who has been so good on the ranked lineup. We had Fluttermane, we had Ogre Pond, who we actually did not use in today's video, and then we had one of the best combos in the game, Chen Pao Dragonite, that you guys seen plenty of. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.